file management in Iron is a breeze. When we install it, all of the data is stored in a single three gigabyte file called a blob file. And by default, it's stored in the following location on the Mac OS. At the root level of your hard drive in your main library folder, in application support, there's a UJAM folder. And then in there, VG Iron. And within there, we see that blob file, which is about three gigabytes in size. Now, if you want to store it in a different location, there's two ways to do it. When you're running the installer, you can simply point it to install it in a new location, and that's it. Or if you want to change the location after the fact, all you need to do is move this blob file to another location, another drive, or wherever, relaunch your DAW and Iron, and you'll be prompted to locate the blob file. So navigate to the new location, and you're done. Now, on Windows, this is stored in the C drive at the main program data directory. And in there, there'll be a subdirectory called UJAM and in there, IRON. And in this same directory, and it's the same on Windows, the directory where your blob file is, above it, you'll have a folder called presets and that's where all the factory presets are stored. Now let's look at managing the presets within IRON, within the DAW. Now here's a little arrangement I set up last video and I've got these two guitars and I've modified the presets. I've got over here, this clean guitar on the sides panned in, well not panned, but set up with doubling, so they're hard panned. And then I have another guitar over here with the preset altered and a distorted sound up the middle with some EQ so that we're getting the mids emphasized. So let's say I want to save these. I'm going to go here to Iron A and I can go save as, we see the little asterisks here indicating that the preset has been modified. And I'm going to name this, I'll call this EK on the sides. And over here, the category, we can save it into one of the factory categories or leave it in other so it'll appear in a user directory. And that's what I'm going to do. So if I do that, you'll see it's EK on the sides. Let's go here and save this one. I'll go save as, and I'll call this EK in the middle. And again, I'm going to save it to the other category. So now we've got those two saved. And if we look in the preset menu, we'll see that under Other, we have these two new presets that have just been saved. And now let's look at where that's stored on the hard drive. Now it's stored in the same location, but in the user directory. So on Mac, we're gonna to go to the actual user directory, and then we go to the library. And if your library isn't showing here, you can go to the Go menu and hold down the Option key. And as you're holding Option, you'll see Library appear there library and then application support and then at the bottom we have UJAM, VG Iron, and then presets and here are the factory presets that I just created and I can pull this out and we'll see it a bit bigger like that and to delete these user presets we need to physically delete them from the hard drive from here so just take these and drag them to the trash and then the next time you quit and launch your DAW and Iron you'll notice the preset menu will be updated and these will be missing from that user folder. Now on Windows, it's the same thing. It's stored in the same location, but in the user directory. So instead of the C drive, you go to your user directory and then program data and then UJAM and then Iron. So file management's a breeze and Iron is a blast to use. This is Eli Kranzberg signing out. I hope you've enjoyed these videos. I personally find this a very stimulating instrument and I hope you find a lot of great use for it and have fun with it. So God bless, enjoy, make great music, and I'll see you for more next time.